Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. This video is another episode of an ongoing series that I've been doing in which I go digging through my extended collection, which is comprised of more than 100,000 comics. And just to clear up any type of confusion that may exist out there, uh, I have acquired this collection over the last few months and surely I am going through it box by box, bin by bin. But what I try to do in this video series is to almost take you guys through these bins uh, for the first time right along with me. And I think that that makes for, I think, a little bit of an adventure for both of us because we're not quite sure what we're going to find. So this uh, bin that is in front of us is one that I've peeked into previously. And I know that it actually contains some Malibu comics and there is a specific, specific Malibu comic that I am on the hunt for. And I'm hopeful that it's gonna be in here. Uh, I looked in this bin originally uh, a couple of weeks ago and have not been back through it since, but we are going to dig into it today. And uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, we may be able to find the book uh, that I am hunting for. And uh, along the way, we are probably going to see a whole lot of books that I am not all too familiar with, but that is just the nature of this video. So we're getting a look at the first book that comes out of here. This is uh, from Eclipse called Air Fighters Classics right here. Um, cool cover on that one. I mean, that's a crispy white cover right there. I've never seen that book before on the backside. Uh, Nemo, Nemo magazine right there. Who is this from? This is also from Eclipse. I have a feeling where the it's probably going to be a lot of Eclipse here in the first part of this one. I'm going to kind of work our way through here and uh, see what we have. Can't even really see that title, to be honest with you, from the angle. Uh, la laser Eraser, I think that's what it said at the very top. Uh, on the back side of here, another Eclipse book. I'll turn it around, maybe I'll let you guys see some of what's in here definitely on the more obscure side this bin i think will be villains and vigilantes right there that's uh issue number two of four and let's see if we continue that nope es peers that's uh book number one of four right there it looks like kind of sort of charlie's angels well maybe not <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. That is not what we saw there. Uh, Strange Days over here. It's another another interesting cover right there. Strange Days. Sure to be a major motion picture. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think we I don't think we've ever seen that one come uh, to the movie theater and may never actually happen. But you have to love the ambitious plan there. Sky Wolf right here. That's uh, issue number one. A lot of these appear to be some mini series from Eclipse in the first part of this bin. Uh, that's a filler there. Oh, maybe not. Let's pull this one up and see. Luger. Luger right there. Exclusive news of upcoming comics. So it must be a little bit of a uh, like a fan magazine. That's what this one appears to be right here. So a little uh, two page fan magazine. Clive Barker. Stick that back down in there. Let's see what else we have in here. Dread Star right there. Oh, what is that? Oh, here's some um, some Malibu comics, and that is uh, little Jim Starling. That's my guess. That's who that is. This is a uh, Malibu uh, half issue right here. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Don't know anything about uh, that title though. And what is this one? This is uh, Troublemakers. Troublemakers here from Acclaim and Valiant. A little bit of a, uh, a mishmash here in this in this bin. And a lot of people have expressed some concern uh, asking me about how this collection is organized and things like that. And what I will tell you that uh, by and large, this collection is, is extremely well organized. There is a there was a method to the madness of the previous owner. Um, he, he kind of groups books together uh, in a way that actually makes sense. If you, if you pay attention to it, like this is a lot of 
indie stuff is probably like an overflow bin to some degree or another. And who doesn't among us have an overflow bin? This is pretty interesting right here. I mean, we saw Jim Starling book before. Now here is uh, Jim Starling breed. I've never seen this before. This is um, issue number one from Malibu Comics. I'm actually going to set that to the side because I am a Jim Starling fan. So I want to set this one to the side. Maybe take a look at that one a little bit later. It's just a cool cover. What is this? Uh, Shaman. Let's see what else we have in here. Team 7 right there. Kind of work our way through this thing. Hopefully we are going to, uh, to find some magic in here. Giant size right there from the Ultraverse. What's that? Protectors. Issue number 6. We have Wildstorm Rising. There you go. That's a cool book right there. I'm a big fan of uh, of this team right here. A little Wildcats action. That's a wi uh, Wildstorm Rising issue number one. I actually have the gold foil uh, on, hanging on my wall as we speak. Advanced Comics not for sale. Only available with this issue of Advanced Comics from Malibu. This another preview issue there. All right, some Malibu Sun here. There we go. That is a uh, Malibu Sun issue number 32. And uh, this is kind of sort of what I'm looking for here. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen this before, but I'll drop it. Malibu Sun Star Trek Deep Space Nine. That is issue number 28. I love this show back in the day, man. Cisco and these guys. I love that. Kira, Odo, I love that show. That's very cool. There's another issue right there of uh, Malibu Sun featuring the folks from Deep Space Nine. Here's another Malibu Sun. You guys probably have figured out what I'm looking for here. That is issue uh, number 20 right there. A little, uh, <laughs> little Tarzan action. Looks like a romance novel right there. It's a very interesting cover. Let's see what this one is here. Uh, I think this is Nightman. Nightman issue number three. Limited series. Nightman number two featuring Gambit. Is that That is our Gambit. That is wild. The X-Men's Cajun Battles for the Soul of Nightman. I was... Mm, okay. Malibu and Marvel. Crossover right there. Looks like another uh, Deep Space Nine book right there. Yep. Star Trek Deep Space Nine, issue number 14. I was not aware that there was even a Deep Space Nine comic, but I should not be surprised. Issue number 7. I have a few bins of Star Trek uh, original series and then also um, the next generation in the collection as well deep space nine malibu it's a special edition right there oh keep working my way through here prime i was hoping that we were going to get a bunch of malibu sun all together there it's prime and uh we may not find the book that i'm hoping for and uh, for those that don't know it's actually i think it's a um First appearance of Spawn that was in Malibu Sun. That's what I was hoping we would go for. I've already found a one early Malibu Sun that was actually a, an appearance of Pit. I'm a huge fan of, uh, of Pit right there. So Power and Glory, issue number four. Never heard of that title. Keep working my way through here. Ultraverse year one there. Oh, man. <laughs> First Issues Collector's Item, Mortal Kombat Issue Number 1, Blood and Thunder. This game back in the day was everything. I remember standing at a corner store in Oak Park, Michigan playing that game like nobody's business. It was one of the few arcades that you could actually get to and buy arcade. It was a convenience store, corner store that had two games. and <laughs> One of them was Mortal Kombat. Oh, man, this is a lot of uh, Ultraverse stuff here from Malibu right there. Keep working my way through here and keep them fingers crossed. Oh, check that out. Malibu Ash Can. Very cool. I'm actually going to pull that out because I've been uh, putting to the side all of these small Ash Can comics. 
And again, you, it kind of, again, makes sense. You saw some Jim Starling stuff group there. There's some Ultraverse stuff, some Ash Can. A couple of these, wow. There was definitely, there was a method to the madness. A lot of these little mini Ash Can comics. I'm going to pull these out. I may skip them. That way you guys don't see them and I can come back and do a video. <laughs> Let me see what this one is. Ultra Force issue uh, number eight right there. It looks like the Black Knight. That, another copy of that uh ultra force ghoul go solo it says it's another copy of that ultra force who is that thought that might have been wolverine there for a second keep working our way through that couple of copies of that particular book ultra force issue number four i'm not sure i wasn't um reading i don't think comics during the whole ultra verse um malibu kind of thing i don't think i paid a, if i was i did not pay any attention to it at all uh i don't know who this guy is but he quits this is issue number two this this whole error if you will kind of escape me here's another ultra force right there same guy he walks away a lot it appears but i would say i actually don't have any of these in my primary collection um but that's one of the great things about the extended collection. There's a lot of really great stuff that uh, I did not pick up back in the day that I now have access to. And uh, pretty thankful for that. It's issue number five here of War Strike. Again, another Malibu uh, title. It's another issue right there. Continue working my way through here. It's issue number 12 of 12 right there of Solitaire. Another issue, another solitaire there, issue number seven. I really don't know much about Malibu and its its various characters, to be completely honest with you. I may have to do some research. I'm going to kind of skip through these a little bit. Still hoping that we will find some, some magical stuff in here. And uh, I may end up going back through this box again off camera and uh, spend a little more time kind of walking my way through here I just want to give you guys a feel for uh, for what's in here this is uh the strangers issue number 10 can't even see who uh trying to see if I could see who worked on the art keep working my way through here giving you guys just a little peek at some of the things that are in here I don't know if you were out there and you uh, read some of these titles back in the day. Let me know what your thoughts are on them. Because I am not opposed. Prime, that's the one character that I do know. I guess he's like the, the Superman, if you will, of this universe. I do believe that that's the role that this guy plays. Easy to spot him, right? <laughs> he's like the biggest guy pretty much that we've seen thus far. <laughs> it's issue number 16 of Prime. Keep working my way through it. But there, if there's some stuff in here that's good, that's worth reading, uh, let me know. Did we get out of the Prime that quickly? What issue is this? Oh, there you go. There's issue number one. Spin that around real quick. Issue number one of Prime. That guy has muscle on muscle on top of muscle. My kind of guy. My kind of guy. Nightman, we actually saw that earlier. So let's see. Okay, Zachary was the, uh, I think, the artist on that one. Continue working my way through here. Little Nightman still going on. Issue number two there. Firearm, issue number two. Again, this is just a universe and a uh, publisher that I just never really, never really read. But uh, may have to to peek into it if folks tell me that there's some magic to be made here, because I've uh, I've actually read a lot of the the obscure stuff from back in the day that I may have missed. It's like a Cho cover. It says Cho. I'm not sure if it's the same Cho that uh, is still in the industry right now. But that was issue uh, number nine of Firearm. It's a pretty nice gun right there. I recently read a lot of the New Universe stuff from uh, the imprint from from Marvel, and a um, couple of couple of interesting titles there. Some of which I really enjoyed. Some of which I, I was only able to work my way through one issue. 
Insta Ultraverse Premiere, issue number three there. 64 pages. Let's see what else we have in here. Doesn't look like we're going to get any more Malibu Sun, which is a little disappointing. I was very, very hopeful that uh, what we saw here in the beginning was going to be a nice run of some Malibu Sun. But uh, this is the solution, issue number uh, 15 right there. Some exaggerated uh, physiques. Issue number 12. Let's get down. Let's see what we get. Issue number two. Let's check out issue number one. See if we can find that. There we go. Issue number one of the solution. Cool cover. Let's see what else is back here. Skip down a couple. Check that out. Issue number two. I've heard of this character and uh, Barry Windsor Smith. That's probably why. Barry Windsor Smith cover right there. This is the Ultraverse debut cards. Issue number two. There is issue number one. Again, Barry Windsor Smith. Huge fan of this guy's artwork. Oh, no, that's issue number four. That's Ultraverse's first birthday. I misread that. But that's issue number four right there. See if we can find, uh, that's the curse. Was there an issue number one? It's issue number two. Issue number two. Is that one? Nope, that is five. Also by Barry Windsor. Been a big fan of this guy's work since he worked on uh, the Weapon X comic featuring Wolverine. Huge fan of uh, Wolverine, of course. And that is not issue number one. Maybe there, there may not be an issue number one here. Lord Pumpkin. Issue number three. Skip down a couple. A little more Lord Pumpkin. A couple of very, very obscure exiles. Some exiles in here. See if that was issue number three. Nope, maybe that was not issue number three because this is issue number three. <laughs> nope, they're both three. <laughs> it's issue number two right there. Let me set that there so you guys can see that. Another copy of that. Is there a number one? There is a number one of uh, Exiles from uh, the Ultraverse Malibu. Drop these two back down in there. Let's see. Exiles again. What's that? Hard Case right here. Issue number 22. Hard Case continues. Issue number nine. Nice little round of that, it appears. Here is Hard Case issue number three. That looks like Rob Life failed to me. Mm. Nope, the feet are fine. Joking, joking. There is nothing but jokes here in love. That is issue number one of Hard Case. Do not know this character at all, to be honest with you, but some nice shoulder pads, 90 shoulder pads. A couple of issues of issue number one of Hard Case. Issue number two of something. Uh, it's breakthrough. I think we saw that one earlier. Issue number one. Uh, Perez, right there. He worked on that, I guess. That's interesting. A couple of different uh, little wraith action there. Issue number nine. Spin that around. It's giant size. Cool cover. Issue number twenty-one, right there. May have to do a little bit of research into this. Uh, this universe, I mean, I, I do believe that it is it is uh, defunct and probably long defunct since the 90s. Frex, I think that's what that is. Skipping through and again, man, I was super hopeful that I was going to find some really awesome Malibu Sun stuff here. But does not look like that is going to be the case. I may have to run back through here one more time. So not a not a whole lot of crazy stuff in this particular band, but uh, such is the case, right? I mean, you go into it with the hope that you're going to find some awesome stuff, but until you go through it, you never know. And I am actually uh, going to shut the camera off and I'm going to spend a little more time going through this front section here, just making sure that I did not miss anything. But I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video, another episode of Digging in My Shorts, and this is essentially what this, this is, uh, but I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch. If you guys enjoyed this episode, even though we didn't find any really cool stuff, we did see some awesome comics, I want to encourage you guys to, to leave a comment behind, hit the thumbs up button, and uh, if you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at ReggieCollects, or you can send me an email to Reggie at ReggieCollects.com. Take care.